verifiably real, yet highly disputed amongst contemporary archaeologists. Following tapes are a mystery of time, all their own. Dub dubbed the Minstrel One Log, these recordings are widely condemned as hoax, but few believe they are messages from our own future. Found at the site of a Roman archaeological day in Norfolk, Sherwood, an encoded black box of some kind. The information on it took years to decode. Audio files, describing the final hours of a scouting ship returning to dock a larger colony, Lady England. 84 crew members logged their final messages. Presented to you here by the Royal Council of Information, this artifact, maybe of another time? The Minstrel One Log. Good morning. Messages for the last three weeks, haven't you gone through? What's, it, what's going on with that? I'm only programmed to ask you the question once a day. What are you talking about? You asked the same question yesterday. I didn't you get it? Minstrel One Community Log. Some gravity disruption caused our uh, We've had some injuries, but no fatalities. Unfortunately, the D-Star could not be harvested, and the neighborhood was empty. It was too cold. This will be my final broadcast for long, but we're going to continue trying to get a response from Lady England. Week 5 of Zero Comms has us a little worried. We're going in the right direction. Signing off. Command. <laughs> I'm only programmed to ask you the question right, uh, once I'm sorry day. about what I said earlier. Uh, no I've been relayed some different messages and to be honest, it's great. We're going to be landing soon, I think it's um, 11 hours. Fuck, man. That's even better. That's better than 11 days. Proper fucking clocking for a joint. <laughs> <laughs> Love a, bit, a wee bit of smoke, me. Sorry, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> A number of things have come to light over the past few hours regarding our mission here. The, uh, the D-Star we just visited, they would have known it was useless. There was no probe. Uh, Lady England ceased all comms in September, so it's been about six weeks. Following the offloader explosion, the crew member involved has unfortunately died, but everyone else is uh, relatively stable. The last confirmed contact we made with Lady England was negotiating a craft recover. The absolute standard should be an immediate craft recovery. Oh, and the community log is still recording here, but without SATCOM link, there's some bug question. Some people have said it's a little spooky, but just a glitch. Nothing to worry about, sure. Maybe ignore all further morning processing. We are now a crew of 84, returning home in a little under 10 hours. Carry on about your routines as usual. This isn't a DOS day. An announcement will be made when to start docking prep. What? Well, it's the last day, so I thought I'd, uh, you know, I'd send uh, one more message just for good measure. Yeah, I got, I got to be honest, everything on here is getting a little weird. Paul's been talking pretty crazy. 
everyone's pretty spooked. We, I mean, we, we haven't heard from from the colony for six weeks. We, we're going to be back in about nine hours' time anyway. Hopefully everything's okay back there. I'll see you soon. What? Wow. So what is What is that? I can't I still can't hear that. We got, uh, uh, we got visuals on Ali yet. Paul? There's a bug with the morning logs, Andy. They're coming found on the community log pages. What, what are you... We've got a ship of confessionals going on Did right now. Did you listen to my message from my wife? Fucking talking a little crazy. Are you alright, mate? Six weeks. You aren't starting to believe that shit. Look, man. You're embarrassing us both in front of the whole ship. I'm I'm sorry, but all this conspiracy bullshit about a ship that got lost two they years ago. They marooned them. The situation here with no contact, and I know just as well as you that it's going to be a ton of paperwork for us both. I used to work at SATCOM, mate. I know what I'm talking about. There was no way we could pull anything from that D Star. That may they would have known that. Well Sending us out. Look, look, we're only nine hours out. It won't matter as soon as we get back home and square this. How would you know where we are? Lady England and will obtain visual confirmation in an hour, asshole. Che cosa stanno dicendo? Non lo so, devo ritornare al lavoro. Stiamo per rientrare. I don't think anyone here that, did they? Well, I don't want anyone here in my business on a fucking stage. Community log. You know, this is probably going to be my last one, so. <coughs> Paul Waring, Chief Engineer aboard Minstrel One. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea here, but. <laughs> Who, who cares? Forrester 1 was marooned, and now they are marooning us. It just isn't a possibility that SATCOM wouldn't know that that D-Star was inactive. And the gravity pocket we hit? They, they would have known. We can't be sure if we're eight hours out until we get eyes on that, and even then, I doubt they'll be happy to see us. It really does make sense, with a little perspective. There isn't enough resource for those in Under the Dome, and here we are. Was there 150 on Forrester? Gone. Uh, your Chief Engineer Paul Worthing has informed me a few discrepancies and they need more comments for us because we can, but I want to focus on gaining eyes on the colony and I want to before the end of the deadline. If we don't get eyes soon, everyone on Minister 1 is going to start panicking, guys. There is no plan B. I got you guys together here to split into two groups and assist where you can with each other. Let me be clear. I can't confirm a lot of what it is that he's saying, but I'm sure you can hear how serious he sounded. How soon as the I come deliberately marooned them, and now they're doing it to us. I tried telling him there's no motive, but he wants to look into, so I think we should do all the same. When we get back to the colony, we can detain him there. Does anyone in this room have a problem with that? No. No? Okay, good. If there is any merit in what you're saying, I need both the teams to go back together. We're not on track to the colony, and then we are in deep space without a paddle, and more importantly, no route home. We wouldn't even have an idea of where home is. I'm heading down to Med's site to talk things over. We got some shit. <laughs>
What did it she? A visual lock on the colony. I, I think we uh, we spotted her. Christ! Okay. I didn't realise it was that, that bad. Did you lot not know where you no, are no, going? No, no, James. No, no. What were you saying before the alarm? Right, okay. I'm no doctor, but I'll be the first to say I'm just a fucking paramedic, mate. I'm a designated first leader. <laughs> James, I don't have a lot of time. Right, yeah. Sorry, Commander. <laughs> Uh, they're fucked, mate. The survivors absolutely never seen the ship before in my life. <laughs> They've got plants and all that going out of where the hair should be. I've treated it with what I can, but like I said, I'm no doctor. Plants? Let me show you, mate. Something happened with the gravity pocket. I mean, the ticky who died, his body is already decaying. I've not seen anything like that before. And the survivors are seeing side effects as well? Something like that, aye. Weird branches and leaves and that. This is what I removed, but I didn't want to take off too much skin, cos... But... What the hell? just before five hours. It's like she just appeared out of thin air. What, what, do you, what do you mean? And sir, the messages from Lady England have all come through at once. We have one team currently going through There's something wrong with Ellie. We have messages dating back two years, Commander. What the fuck is going on, Paul? Sir, I don't know. You heard him, Andy. We haven't made contact with the colony in two years. Two years? What are you talking about, Paul? Come on, man. We're still trying to adjust our clocks and figure out how long we've been gone in total. But it's not important. I suppose we can see them now. The messages coming from Lady England are only as recent as, we think, six months ago. But we're still sorting through the timeline. Commander, there were distress signals. Well, oh, I'm struggling with the timeline. Uh, there was a breach. A pretty bad one. Jones tried to get through to them for a while, but there hasn't been an answer. We're going to make a full pass over the dome and check the breach on the starboard bow loading docks. Give us a good chance. What? You know, actually, I think I've cracked it. I think you might be asking me what the meaning of love is, and I've got an answer. Well, maybe not about the meaning of love, but I can try and explain what it feels like. It's like an anxiety somewhere that makes you feel like pure worried and that all the time. What the other person thinks of you, and it makes you feel this crazy urgency as if they're the ones that are supposed to be looking at you when you die. You know? <laughs> Like looking at looking at him in the eyes or something. Like you don't want to waste your life doing other stupid shit anyway. But maybe for the meaning, it's either completely biological, just to keep us fucking each other and making babies and that. Or maybe it's just a destiny thing. Maybe the union of two spirits creating life is a bit more like metaphysical or something. Paul, oh, where, where is everyone? We've made our pass over the dome, Hoover. Zero activity in analysis. How could I be so wrong? <laughs> they weren't marooning us. What do you mean, zero activity? Paul, I really need some help here. We've been gone for two years or longer? Not a single sign of life was detected, Andy. We're a starboard bow now. You need to come have a look at this. Paul. I don't know what to say, but how long... There 
isn't an oxygen seal. Is she dead? Is she caught there somehow? No. We can't be sure how long she's been standing there. But the radiation isn't killing her, let alone the lack of oxygen. Paul, why is the ship moving toward dark? We tried, Andy. But it's as if she's pulling what us you, in. How do you mind? We can't get this thing any... Andy, we closer. don't have any other options. We're not in control here. Can't be late for the wedding. What? Hoover? What the fuck? <laughs> For dramatic purposes, many hours of audio have been edited by the Royal Council of Information throughout. While there are many crew logs revealing much about the people on board Minstrel One, after docking, there is only one single entry from the final passenger. It seems some kind of cataclysmic event occurred during the time spent on Lady England, and many questions remain unanswered about the aforementioned mystery woman at the docking bay. But the following remains unedited, unedited. The final log of James Lockmead, head of staff of the Minstrel One Medical Center, as he flees Lady England, the sole survivor. It's just a dagger. Threat detected on board. Where's the bloody support button in here? Good morning, James. How many people are left on the ship? There are one crew members Jesus on board, Christ. James. I'm, I'm the last one alive. What am I doing? Would you like to continue with morning processing? Not this again. I don't even want to hear the same fucking question about the meaning of love or life or whatever the fuck it is. If you could travel through time, James, where would you go? I, I, I don't get it. What do you mean? There's a bit bigger problems going I'm on only here. only programmed to ask you the question once a day. Uh, do you know what? I guess I'll entertain you. When I was a wee, my grandmother on Earth, she used to read me these stories from these books like uh, Mites and Legans or something. Sit back in the time with knights and that. Swords and shields and fucking fair maidens. Well, in the end, they all end up getting married and, you know, Bullshit weddings and stuff like that. And there's always something about a dagger. Okay, James. What? Minstrel One Log.
Thank you.